morning my friends how are we doing today it's Sunday and I'm gonna take you on a what I eat in a day today it's gonna to be a really good day it's actually gonna be a special day so I woke up a little while ago I drink my 24 ounces of water when I wake up I'm usually a little dehydrated I find lately I think it's just because it's getting colder here and um, the apartments dry anyway we are going to head in the kitchen I am going to make waffles if you've been here before, you know I love my waffles, and I love my potato waffles, and all different waffles. Anyway, I've been asked to review a new double waffle maker, and so I am so stoked you have no idea. So I've done my 20 minute little workout that I normally do every morning, and that's basically the first thing I do. I get up, I wash my face, I go to the washroom, I put on my exercise clothes, and I do a 20 to 30 minute workout stretching, some hand weights, just simple, something simple just to get the day started. And now I'm going to head into the kitchen. I'm going to do my lemon water with turmeric and everything and ginger that I like to do. And I blend it up, so I'll just, I'll show you what I have. So we're gonna head into the kitchen and for breakfast, we're having waffles. So stick with me, cause I'm super excited. All right, so every morning, I get them hot water and I make a mixture with a whole lemon. So I do this in batches and then freeze it. Works really easy this way. That way you're only making it once in a couple of weeks. And you just peel your lemons, um, ginger, some turmeric, um, a little bit of maple syrup, um, just to bite the ginger a little strong. Um, and my turmeric and a little bit of cayenne pepper or black pepper just to help the turmeric work and then it's ready to go in the morning I just add a little bit in and then I just sip on it it's a great way to kind of detox your stomach in the morning and this is like one of my favorite places this is Canda's farm sanctuary um, and they're here they're in Indiana and they have 73 or four, I think they just they just rescued a few, a couple more in the last month, but they have about 73 pigs that they take care of. Some roosters, some chickens, and a few other um, little critters on, on the property, but you should look them up, give them some support. Anyway, so I'm gonna have my lemon water, and then we're going to check out the waffle maker. So this is the double rotating waffle maker from Faux Here. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and I'm excited to unbox it and see what we have and play with it. Okay. All right. So let's open this. I am so excited. I love appliances. I love anything that makes your life a little bit easier. And if you're around when I've made a few of my other waffles, my waffle maker wasn't very good. So, it's very well packed, first of all. You can see, everything is, it seems to be a very nice size, so we're just going to pull it out ever so gracefully, hopefully. There we go. It's nothing to do with the packaging, it has to do with the operator here. There we go. A little bit harder to do by yourself. There we go. Comes with obviously the user's manual. What else does it come with? Ooh, some recipes. Perfect. And again, very well packaged. Comes with a tray for spills and stuff, so it's easy cleanup. Get this all out. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so let's get that off. So it has about a two foot cord, which is perfect for, you know, countertop cooking. I'm just going to open this and take out the paper. So, very sturdy. It has really nice non-skid feet, so it's not moving around on your table. 
the tray fits underneath like this so it will catch any spillage but I was trying not to have any spills there we go so let me let me wash this up and we're gonna try this out and we're gonna put our waffles together and have a good time okay so we have this gorgeous double-sided waffle maker going and it has two indicators, one for the power and one when it's ready. So we're just gonna let this preheat. We're gonna be making two, but you could make one. There's a sign on the top that says, fill this one first. So again, we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna let this preheat and then we're gonna make our batter. So we're gonna start with our fat-based milk. Soy milk is better for this because we are gonna make like a buttermilk. And then we're going to use a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar because we kind of want to make this buttermilk. Soy milk or milks that have more protein will curdle better. But I have almond milk, so we're doing almond milk. Give it a stir. And then you're going to want to set that aside while you're doing your dry ingredients. So you can do gluten-free if you have a gluten-free blend. I'm just gonna use all-purpose flour just to keep this super simple. So all-purpose flour, we need a cup and a quarter. There's a quarter. I think I'm just gonna leave my glasses on. I have the recipe here on to the side. We need two teaspoons of a baking powder. Super simple. I have a video for this recipe and it's gonna go up on my website too, so, but you can always go to the video. I'll hook, look, hook that up above here. Okay. We're gonna do a little pinch of salt. My indicator light is on saying it's ready which is a great feature it's really safe like the handles and everything are nice and cool even though the pan is already hot which is perfect we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon I'm adding like a teaspoon or so I love cinnamon so you add what you like you can change the flavors up all the time of course Instead of eggs for our binder, you could either use a mashed banana or half a cup of applesauce. We're going to use applesauce today. I'm glad I looked. Um, it's actually a quarter of a cup of applesauce. I thought that was a little, bit, a little bit much. Okay, we're going to take our curdled milk, which is perfect. And I'm going to add vanilla. gonna mix. This is a super excellent fluffy okay now we want to make sure that we don't add too much to our waffle makers. The way you use it is you're going to push in on the side and lift it up and then it's all set to go. We're going to pour in our batter. You're going to close it and then you're going to turn. And on this side, you also have the two indicators that it's ready, that it's powered on, and that it's green, so it's ready to go. Again, push that side in, and then we're just going to pour. And then it will tell you when your waffles are ready. I'm going to close that. And turn it back 
back over here. And now we're gonna wait. And again, it's perfect. Skid proof, got this great catch-all tray. So if you do overfill it, you're not going to have a huge mess. It also has wells on the inside, which makes super easy cleanup. So if you do put a little extra batter in there, it'll go into the wells first before it goes everywhere. So let's wait till the light turns green and check out our gorgeous, gorgeous waffles. I just know they're gonna be good. So our waffles are ready. All right, so this side is ready. Let's, oh, that's gorgeous. Let me just get that out. This is one happy camper. You know what, I can't wait to make, and this side is also ready. I can't wait to make my potato pancakes in here. These are absolutely gorgeous. We have our gorgeous pancake, can you see that? And I'm just gonna top mine with some fresh fruit. I love, I got some strawberries, so we're gonna do that today. And honestly, this is like a dessert. It's an incredible, mm. And of course, you need a little bit of real fresh maple syrup. Stick with me, I'll be making everything in my waffle maker, of course. Um, coming up with my potato ones. And I want to thank for here for allowing me to use this gorgeous waffle maker. So I'm gonna have this for breakfast and then we're gonna head into lunch. I'm just going to put together some lunch. I was at the dentist, so my mouth is all frozen. So I'm, see, meal prepping comes in handy. I'm going to have my tomato lasagna soup and just gonna warm that up in a pot. This is what I love about meal prepping. It's super simple. And you always have something. And I'm just gonna add my noodles since I am um, warming this up. I'm gonna eat it all, so I'm just gonna throw all those noodles in. And we're just gonna warm that up. So I'm just gonna serve up my soup. And you could use, obviously, gluten-free noodles. I didn't have them. I'm just trying to use up what I have. I'm going to top this with a little bit of nutritional yeast. In place of any parm and some fresh basil from my plants. That will just... There we go. There's my second meal for today. Now with the new year, Everybody is on the bandwagon to get healthy. And if you're still following on your journey to get healthy, I want you to join us. I have a Facebook group, so hit that link down below. Go to our Facebook group. We do challenges and we just kind of try to put out information for each other to support and to help each other on our journeys. And you don't have to be plant-based to follow it. You don't have to be plant-based to join it. Everybody is welcome. So tonight, what's for supper? It's pasta. And you can make a healthy, delicious pasta, super simple. And in fact, I'm using an onion, some garlic, and a jarred marinara, and some lentils. I already pre-cooked my lentils earlier today. They've already cooled off. And I'm going to use whatever I'm going to use. So I'm making kind of um, bolognese sauce. I'm going to use that. I'm going to keep it simple with four or five ingredients. Um, the lentils are going to boost up the protein on them. You could use a protein, high protein if you wanted to, or gluten-free pasta. Again, you do whatever you want to do. I'm, again, trying to use up what I have um, so I can switch over to, like, a gluten-free pasta. So we're just going to chop up an onion. We're going to fry that up with some garlic, and then we're going to use our spaghetti sauce, and we can use some of our broth that we made. So for supper tonight, I'm keeping it super simple, super easy, 
and I'm making a uh, pasta bolognese, which I'm just going to use some jar sauce. Again, this is the Simply Nature's Nature, which I get at Aldi. It's relatively um, inexpensive glasses. There's absolutely no fat, um, which is good, and it is organic. So also good and gluten-free. So we're just going to add some cooked lentils. Whenever I do beans, I always make a large pot and then I put them in reusable Ziploc bags and keep them in the freezer. That way, whenever I want to put a dish together, I always have them already cooked. And cooking from dry is the best budget saver ever. If you have an Instant Pot, you can put it on, forget it, put them on in the morning, come back at the evening, they're already cooked and sitting waiting for you, whatever. But I love to make a big batch and then I'm able to cook that night and then have some more in the freezer. If you lay them nice and flat, they defrost very easily and very quickly. So tonight we're just making a pasta, come along. So we're just bringing our pot up to heat and I'm gonna add in some of my broth that I made, add in our onions and add in some garlic. I like garlic, so I'm gonna add lots. And we're just going to saute this, let the onions cook down. Now you could add in mushrooms, zucchini, whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep this very basic and very budget friendly. Now we're just going to add in our pasta sauce. And what I like to do is either using water or a little bit of broth, I like to clean out the jar with that. Get everything out of there. Perfect. I'm gonna add in a couple of bay leaves. And again, this is just a little extra. Stir. And then just some Italian seasoning, some oregano. And I have some fresh oregano that I'm gonna add in. We're also gonna add in our lentils. That's about two cups of lentils. Then I'm just going to stir it and see if that gives it enough of the meaty that we want. And of course, at this time, you could add salt and pepper, whatever you want. We're just going to let this simmer a little bit just to pull out the flavors. We're just going to cook our pasta. I'm gonna use one half a box because I like my pasta to be saucy. Just cook that according to the directions and then we're just gonna mix it in with our sauce and supper is served. So our pasta's cooked, I'm just gonna add it into the sauce. And again, I like my pasta to be saucy. And it will continue to cook and absorb while it's sitting in the sauce. So that way it'll stay nice and juicy. So just have my salad going here. I'm gonna add some of my pasta with the bolognese sauce, the lentils, all high in protein. There we go, supper's ready. So we come to the end of another What I Eat in, the, in a Day video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I always love doing these. It does keep me in check and it keeps me responsible for what I'm eating. Let me know which one of my meals was your favorite down below. And we're gonna see you in the next one. I have some great things coming in 2024.